A few weeks ago, I made a video about a free door for Windows called Luna. But there's this other thing called the Luna Pro Bundle, which you can pay for. So is Luna really free? This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. Now, since I made my initial video about Luna being free, a number of people interjected in the comments saying things like, it's not free, it's a 30-day trial. And I guarantee they definitely used that voice. Now, those people are, how shall I say this, wrong. But let's head over to the webpage to find out why. When you head over to the Luna webpage and scroll down to the bottom, you can see two offerings here. One is for Luna on the left-hand side, which is free okay and then on the right hand side we have the luna pro bundle for 299 dollars which doesn't even include luna because you already got that for free on the left hand side the bundle is just a whole bunch of sort of plugins or extensions as they call them so you don't need to buy luna itself now to add to people's confusion a little bit i think they've looked at this bit at the bottom where it says a 30-day trial of luna pro bundle which remember is just the extra that you may or may not want and a 30-day trial of Neve Summing. Again, an extra which you may or may not want. And they've gone, oh, Luna, 30-day trial. No, it's free, okay? Don't worry about it. Now, one thing to mention, though, is that the version that's currently out is a beta or beta version, depending on how you say it, in your part of the world, meaning it may or may not run very well on your system. Now, for people like me, it's run pretty smoothly and it's getting smoother with each update. But for some people, they've failed to be able to run it at all. So if you were to part with any of your hard-earned cash for the Pro Bundle, I would definitely recommend you check out the free Luna Door first. Now we've established that it is indeed free, but you can pay for a Pro Bundle. What exactly does the free version include? So because I've already made a video about the free version of Luna, I'm just gonna keep it to a quick overview here and you can follow the link in the description down below if you wanna watch that other video. Now Luna is indeed a completely free and fully functioning door. It just doesn't come with much in terms of plugins, etc. But what do I mean by a fully functioning door? Well, the basics are there. So you can do things like record audio, you can see some of that in blue here and record MIDI which you can see in green down here. Now for both of these you can do some basic editing like you can move audio around, you can trim the ends of it like so, you can add fade ins and fade outs etc. And with the MIDI if we expand some of that at the bottom here to this piano roll view you can move notes around to different pitches or different places in time, you can extend or shorten their duration, you can quantize them, you can change their velocity all of the stuff you'd expect to see for basic MIDI editing, but none of the really fancy stuff that you might see elsewhere. Now, if we go back to our main view, just looking at the lanes right at the top, you can see that we've got some different rulers for different ways of measuring time. Then we have a tempo lane where we can make adjustments to the tempo throughout the project. Uh, the same for the time signature lane, we can change the time signature throughout the project. And then we have our, mark, our markers to make it much easier for us to navigate the project there. So once you've recorded all this stuff and done your basic editing, you'll want to be mixing it. So for that, we go to the mixer view. Now in this basic version of the mixer view, we can see at the bottom, we've got some faders here, we've got things like panning controls, and we've got solo, we've got mute, all of the stuff that you'd expect to see. And now that I'm playing the track, you can see we've got meters down there as well. Now at the top, we can expand several other sections. We'll start off with the input section at the top here. Here we can select which input we're gonna use for a track. So it might be a microphone input, etc. Or if it's MIDI, you might select the MIDI channel, etc. Then we have a utility section. And in this section, we can do things like trim the signal. We can change the polarity, add a delay, all of that sort of basic stuff there. Then we have a tape section we could see here. Now, with the free version, you get this oxide tape extension, which you can use to add some tape saturation to all of your tracks. Next, we have our console section, which we, we don't see anything here, but this is where we would add console extensions, which you can either buy
buy or get in the pro version. We'll look at those later. These are not the same as things like VST plugins that you might see in other doors. However, in the next section, in the insert section, we can insert third party plugins, things like VST plugins. Now, you don't get any with the free version. However, I have to say there's many really good free plugins available that you could use with this door. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to make a video about which free plugins I would choose to complement the free version of Luna. Then we have our send section. From here, we can send our signal off to various buses or maybe different outputs on our audio interface. And then we have the output section again we can send the output of each track to a bus or we can send it to a different output of our audio interface. And if we go all the way over to the right hand side, we can indeed see that there's some bus uh, channels over here as well as our tracks on the left. Now with all of these, you can just leave them all uh, expanded open if you want to and you can make adjustments to things that sit in there from the mixer view itself. Now there's also automation for each of the tracks and the buses as well. So that's really helpful. You can record chord movements you make on your faders and on your panning etc and the type of thing you'd expect to see in any well-rounded door in this day and age so that is the free version and you can definitely use it to record your songs so what's the advantages of the pro version one of the first things you may notice about my session now is that every single track is using the api vision channel strip from the pro bundle thereby kind of turning my mixer here into a virtual api console with all of the goodies you'd hope for from that now with this channel strip it has three different views the default view is the dynamics view which consists of this gate expander at the top and a compressor limit at the bottom. We can also switch over to the input view, which consists of a preamp at the top, which adds a little bit of sort of flavor and character to your track and a filter at the bottom with a low and high pass filter. Now I find these really useful for sort of cleaning up those extremes of the frequency range before I do my real work in the EQ section. Now by default, the EQ used here is the 550L, an absolutely classic API EQ, which is great for sort of shaping your overall sound. Now I wouldn't describe it as a surgical EQ. It doesn't even have a Q control. Instead, these API EQs use something called a proportional Q, meaning the more extreme you go with your cut or your boost, the more narrow the Q gets. It gets a little more surgical if you like, but again, I wouldn't describe this as a surgical EQ. Now, as I say, by default, it's showing the 550L using the 550L, but we can also switch over to the 560L, a graphic EQ. And before you dismiss this as a sort of a rather rudimentary tool, I encourage you to give it a go. It's really great for sort of quickly getting in there and doing kind of shaping or maybe even fixing in a very sort of quick and economical way if you like so that's the three main sections now you don't have to change them right on the channel here you can also open up a larger view which you can click on here it appears over to the left and you can see all of those three sections in one go also over here you can assign a side chain signal for this to be used with the dynamic section as well now this particular component or extension if you bought it separately would cost uh, what is it 559 dollars um so if you were considering buying this separately don't get the pro bundle instead because you get a lot of other things as well <laughs> let's face it in almost any session you'll be wanting to use a reverb or an echo of some kind and there's two of these types of plugins included in the pro bundle on the left hand side we've got the pure plate reverb now i've got to tell you this is one of my favorite reverb plugins of all time i use it in my other doors as well i also use it as an insert on my apollo interface when i'm tracking and it just gives a really nice, rich, kind of sophisticated sounding reverb, especially 
on things like vocals, acoustic guitar, and in this particular session, I was using it on a snare as well. And this is pretty typical for the kind of settings that I would personally use. I'll almost always do a low cut to get rid of the rumble that I normally don't want in a reverb. I'll add a little bit of pre-delay so it separates itself from the source a little bit. I'll set up the timing, and I, I usually like to boost the treble just a little bit to give it a little bit of that or a nice glassy sound that I like. Really great reverb. And then on the right hand side, we've got the classic Galaxy Tape Echo. This is a much more sort of stylized sound in my opinion. I don't use it an awful lot, but some people absolutely love it. And it does add a certain character in terms of an echo, of course, based on an old uh, classic tape echo machine. So these are great additions to have, to be honest with you, in the sound of your sessions. As well as the dynamic section of our API vision strip that we saw earlier, we also have some other dynamics plugins and extensions in the Pro Bundle. The first of these is the LA2A Leveler Collection. So basically, this is three variations of this most classic leveling amplifier, which most of us refer to as a compressor. Now, I've got to tell you, I use the LA2A absolutely everywhere in my productions. I especially like it on vocals. I love it on acoustic guitar, and I absolutely adore using this on bass guitar. It's really good at sort of leveling out the dynamics of an inconsistent bass guitar performance. And as I'm not a great bass guitar player, my performance is often quite inconsistent. And I find this works a little bit like a magic plugin for that. It just sort of smooths it all out, which I really love. Now, another Dynamics processor we get in the Pro Bundle, I've used here on my drum bus. If we look over here, you can see that rather than using the API Vision Strip, I've used the API 2500 bus compressor here. And if I click on this icon here, it opens up to its full view over on the left-hand side. Now, this is an absolutely classic bus compressor, but I have to admit, I've only started using it sort of quite recently, I would say, in the last year or so. And I absolutely love using it in this situation on my drum bus. I find it sort of makes everything more cohesive. It sort of does glue everything together. And it's great if you want to add just a bit of extra punch to your drums or make them a little bit more present. I love it for that. But of course, you can use it in all other kinds of bus situations as well. People make use of it even on the master bus. So this is another great addition in terms of dynamics to the Pro Bundle. Now, as mentioned earlier, the API Vision Strip already includes two EQs, but also in the Pro Bundle, we get the Pultec Passive EQ Collection. So basically three Pultec EQs here. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail about what makes Pultec EQ so special indeed so quirky because I've recently made a video about that. I'll put a link for that in the description down below. But I will say that these are much more sort of character EQs in my opinion. Now on this particular track, I was using it in a very classic way on my bass guitar, doing the Pultec EQ trick with the EQP1A we can see here in the middle, which is great for adding some extra punch to your bass guitar or even a synth bass or something like that. <laughs> now before we take a look at some pretty cool tape effects a channel strip and some other things which come with Luna. I just want to remind you, if you're releasing your music to places like Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, etc., don't forget to follow the link in the description down below for our sponsor, DistroKid. If you do follow that link, you'll get 7% off of your first year of membership. Even with the free version of Luna, you get the Oxide Tape Saturation extension, and you can dial in some tape saturation directly from the mixer itself just by using this little control on each track but to be honest with you that's the only control you do get now with the pro bundle they also allow you to use the Studer a800 now with this as well as being able to dial in that tape saturation from the mixer itself you also get some control for example over the high frequency and low frequency information here and by the way i love adding a little bit of high frequency air here using the control 
here rather than using an EQ even. I just find it's a little bit more sort of natural, if you like, if I use it here. Now also in the expanded view over on the left hand side, we get a lot more control over the sound here. So we're able, for example, to use different types of tape with our tape saturation, emulation. We can change the speed, we can recalibrate it. And if we click on the open button here, there's some other controls revealed as well. So that's on individual tracks. Now, if we scroll over to my buses here, you can see here, you're able to make use of the Ampex ATR 102 on your buses only. And again, you get quite a lot of control here over the emulation for different character, but this one is just more suited to a bus or even your main bus. Now, as well as the API vision strip, you also get another channel strip. We can see that here. It's the Century Tube channel strip. It's got a little bit of a different character to this one and consists of a preamp, a simple equalizer, a very simple compressor, and an output stage here. Now, one of the main benefits with this particular one is that we can use it as a plug-in or as an insert, if you like, further down the chains. We can use it before and after other plugins. And in that sense, it's a really sort of worthy addition, I think, here from the Pro Bundle. Now, as a quick note, if you look at my buses on the right-hand side here, you can see at the top, I'm using the API summing extension as well on most of these buses. That gives the kind of character, if you like, of a classic API op amp and pretty simple to use, hardly any controls over there. But I just wanted to mention this because also I can switch over to Neve summing as well for the character of a Neve console. Now I'm not certain that Neve summing is included in the Pro Bundle. When they sent me the Pro Bundle, I got this as well, but it doesn't say that it's included on their web page, so um, you know you might want to check that one out for yourself. But this is a really quick way to again add a little bit of analog console emulation to your mixes. Now, although I can't add much of value regarding this particular plugin, which comes with the Pro Bundle PolyMax, it would be remiss of me not to mention it because it is included. However, because I've hardly used it, like at all i don't think i can tell you too much about it other than if you like really analog synth sounds then um, you may enjoy this one and it is included with the pro bundle now i'm pretty certain that there's going to be some updates to luna coming in the near future so if you want to make sure that i tell you about those updates then go ahead and subscribe and like and leave a comment down below i'd love to hear from you I'm Mike, I hope you're well, and I'll see you in the next video.